history of microbiology year 1665 robert hook reported the first cell as the life's smallest structural unit he observed the honeycomb structure in the cork using a crude microscope with the 30x magnification after that antony von leeuwenhoek he was a merchant with the use of a very simple microscope he observed the and reported the bacteria and the magnification of the microscope which he has used was around 300 to 500 x he is considered as a father of bacteriology and protozoology also leeuwenhoek coined the term animal cule he observed these all tiny animals teen, uh, tiny animal cules in rain water saliva teeth scraping some anal fluid and his own feces he also presented his uh, observations with illustration before the scientist, scientific uh, organization that is the royal society in 1683 leeuwenhoek also outlined the structural details of bacteria amoeba and paramecium after the leeuwenhoek there was a great age of uh, spontaneous generation uh, theory because so many scientists at that time they have just thought of the living uh, things arise from the spontaneously from the non living matter so this was the theory of spontaneous generation or abiogenesis so after that in year 1668 francesco redi he rejected this theory by of uh, spontaneous generation by performing a series of experiments on decaying here you can see so here he has performed different different uh, experiments in which he has uh, uh, rejected the theory of spontaneous generation after that ready 1745 john needham he again came and supported the abiogenesis theory and he claimed that the existence of a life force present in the organic matter causes the spontaneous generation but this was also again rejected by lerallo spallanzani in 1769 he discovered the theory of spontaneous generation or abiotic uh, uh, theory of uh, uh, abiotic origin of life was rejected he did not he rejected these theories and he discovered the theory of biogenesis that the living organism arise from the pre-existing organisms 1822 to 95 lewis pascher he proved the theory of biogenesis he disproved the theory of spontaneous generation by performing the shawn neck experiment shawn neck flask experiment so the name was given because of the shape of the flask neck now he found the process of fermentation also in which he found that the yeast was converting sugar into alcohol during the experiment he found it so this was the process of fermentation he discovered the process of pasteurization in which he found that the wine was not spoiling if heated up to 50 to 60 degrees centigrade so this way the pasteurization came up that we are using now also for the preservation and uh, for, of different food material then the pascher is considered as the founder of germ theory of disease that means that the germ theory is that diseases are caused by the microorganism so there is a contact, direct contact direct relationship between the microorganism and the diseases it was established by the uh, louis pascher in his germ theory of disease he disproved he also proved the importance of the sterilization and after this discovery he discovered different instruments also like autoclave simple uh, steam sterilizer hot air oven pascher also established the importance of cotton wool plug for the culture media preparation then he differentiate between aerobic and anaerobic culture also what are the different conditions which lead to the aerobic and anaerobic conditions then he coined the term anaerobic pascher worked on the pepbrine a cell worm protozoan disease also he developed a process of attenuation while working on the chicken cholera pascher also developed the vaccine against anthrax and rabies that is hydrophobia pascher gave the term vaccine to honor the jenner cowpox vaccine so that is why the term vaccine because here the vacca means the cow and 1888 pascher institute was established after pascher john tindall in 1820 to 93 tindall gave the process of tindallization that is the one of the intermittent sterilization process where this is the uh, uh, also called as the fractional sterilization 
After Tyndale in 1860, Joseph Lister. Joseph Lister, he is considered as the father of antiseptic surgery. He successfully prevented the post-operative sepsis by using the carbolic acid that is phenol also. And this led to the de development of aseptic surgery. So after Lister, again the golden era of microbiology started. That was after 1860 to 1911. Because in this era, during this time, so many discoveries were uh, there, which led to the modernization or the more development in the branch of microbiology has taken place. Now in 1876, Robert Koch, that he is also called as the father of practical bacteriology. He discovered the tubercle bacillus, that is the mycobacterium tuberculosis, also known as Koch bacillus. Also discovered Vibrio cholera. Then uh, Robert Koch developed first culture technique in the lab. Here we can see that so many discoveries has led because all these are have uh, proven a, a milestone in the development of this branch of microbiology. So developed the staining technique to stain the bacteria with acidic or basic stain. He isolated the different kind of bacteria. He proved the theory of germ, uh, germ theory of diseases given by Pasher and by conducting an investigative experiments. So series of experiments he has done. In 1905, by, uh, Robert Koch was uh, awarded Nobel Prize of Medicine. After uh, Koch also postulated some uh, rules, These, uh, those are also called as Koch postul postulates. So that is, there are four Koch postulates that we will see here. Number one is the bacteria should be constantly associated with the lesion or a disease. It should be possible to isolate the bacterium in pure culture for, of the lesion. Then inoculation of such pure culture into the suitable laboratory animal should reproduce the reproduce the lesion of the disease means the disease could come again it should reproduce means it should again reappear in the lab animal then it should possible to re-isolate the bacterium in the pure culture and from the lesion produced in the experimental animal so that is the Koch postulate after Koch Next scientist is the Chamberlain. Yeah, in 1884, Chamberlain he gave the this uh, construction of bacterial filter, and he made it possible the discovery of viruses and their role in diseases. Then, 1892, Dmitry Ivanovsky he was the first to describe a disease of tobacco that is mosaic and mosaic disease. This is here tobacco mosaic disease in which the patches were there. Then he showed also that the transmission of disease to healthy plants from the diseased plants. The sap which was prepared from the infected plant, it was passed through the Chamberlain candle filter. And this filtered sap was also having the infectivity which was able to cause the disease again. Then after this uh, discovery, the 1898 Bejerink, Bejerink gave that the infectious agent diffused through an agar gel and he gave the name this infectious agent as a contagium vivum fluid, uh, fluidum and that was known as virus also that so it is also virus was called as contagium vivum fluidum by the Bejerink. Then Buchner, this 1897 he was the first to discover the cell free alcoholic fermentation. He provided the key to chemical analysis of energy yielding processes. Then Rox and Yersin in 1888 gave the, they identified new mechanism of pathogenesis. They described the and discovered the diphtheria toxin also. Paul Ehrlich in 1892, he pioneered the technique of chemotherapy. He studied the different uh, toxins and antitoxin in quantitative terms. So he was found and it led to the foundation of biological standardization. In 1882, uh, Mechnikov, the Mechnikov discovered the phagocytosis and phagocytosis the cellular concept of immunity. So here you can see the immunology also started with the along with the um, this mi microbiology and its correlation has started establishing. Now in eight, 1934 Ernst Ruska it, he developed the electron microscope and that was the major uh, throw back in this uh, in the history of microbiology development because it was again going to enable the visualization of all the microorganism in the wider aspects. Now 1929 was Alexander Fleming. So it was also a great discovery. He was given the Nobel Prize in the physiology with some other scientists also. 
accidentally Fleming discovered the antimicrobial substance that is and after that uh, since it was isolated from penicillium notatum fungus during the work on that the name given to it was penicillin uh, and he also Fleming also discovered the lysozyme. In 1940, Bedell and Tatum, they established the connection between the genetics and the microbiology. He isolated mutant Neurospora crassa and they gave one gene, one enzyme hypothesis. 1955 was the time of the Carl Landsteiner and he worked on the immunochemistry. So this way, this was all about the history of major milestones in the history of the development of microbiology.